interestingly enough, uh, about a week or so ago, the I guess utility company came out and put little flags down up and down the street. And <clears throat> this location is on a dead end. So it's kind of like something's going on, but we don't know what. Well, it turns out starting this week, today is Wednesday, starting this week, learned that they are replacing the underground electrical lines. And remarkably, at least I, as far as I can tell, the electricity has not been out more than 20 minutes. Um, however, I do have a solar system with a battery backup, so it is possible it had been out and just didn't pay attention to the app. Um, but they've been, uh, it's quite the operation and I never really even thought about it, how they would do it. But you can see conduit wrapped up here. And I think they have two, they did have two of these trailers. Actually, they still do. There's one on the other side there. And um, whether it's across people's lawns, which they haven't come to this, the house here where I'm at, or the home next door or across the street. So I'm curious, although I think I see a little flag right there. But the flags were yellow that they put down, so maybe that's something else. And, um, it's been quite the operation. They've been quite busy doing it. I mean, it's just, it's impressive. So from what I understand, they use this machine over here. They use this machine here to cut, to really cut the, I guess the pavement. And it's, it's impressive to see it in use. These guys clearly know what they're doing. <clears throat> yeah. I would not even begin to know how to, to work this equipment. Maybe those of you watching do. And they've had the electrical boxes open. And there is an electrical box in this circle here. No, there's not. Maybe, maybe that, I don't know. So then up the street. Yeah, there's another red flag right there. Yeah, now there you go. You can see the yellow flags. So they must be coming down to my portion <clears throat> um, which would probably be maybe they do that work on that tomorrow or they're still working up here but what you can see is where it's wet um, so what I learned is when they put the new wire in the conduit they also put concrete around the conduit and then <clears throat> then put it underground I'm not an expert. That is just what was explained to me. And you could see they were doing something there today. Uh, let this person walk by. And then you could see up here where they clearly doing a lot of work and I think they're replacing those that box there on the in the ground because I saw a truck with a bunch of them on it so maybe that's part of the process and I don't know if they're replacing the extra or the above ground one too but you can see the conduit coming out and then the wet ground And I think they did this, no, they didn't do that side because the ground would be disturbed. So it seems like they went down that side of the street and you could see, I think they, they dug in right there. Or is that just wet? Now you see the arrow. You know, obviously they have the shorthand with all those markings 
somebody watching the channel may, might know what that is. Ah, oh, here we go. So they were up here too at the top of the street. These guys were working hard. And so the dead end street where the home that I just came from is, is attached to a, another street, obviously, and that is basically a giant loop that then, then there's two streets that exit the neighborhood. <clears throat> so I don't know if they're doing the whole thing because you can see more flags here. But we haven't had any integrity issues with the electricity or like major breaks in, in service or anything like that. Again, some of it, it could have been going on and it was masked by our solar battery backup system. I don't know. And I don't know how one would know when it's time to replace this versus complaints with power outages all the time. So if anyone wants to chime in that knows about these things, I'd be very fascinated uh, to understand it a little bit more just out of a curiosity, not for anything else. And clearly those red flags down there mean something else. If this was 1990, I would say, was that the telephone line? But there's probably none of that anymore. Who knows? Or maybe it's old. Well, make sure, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.